everyone and welcome back along to the channel it has been over a year since my last video um, and it's also been over a year since I last went out with a camera um, apart from the usual family stuff I have not been out taking photos for my own creative pleasure <laughs> um, long story on that one lots of things uh, I'm not gonna sit here and bore you about it I'll put a little blog, blog post up which um, might explain a few things uh, nothing exciting I've not been putting any amazing book together or exploring some part of the world and putting some series together I've been doing yeah nothing not a lot really so I'm out today um, I've just come over to Hastings uh, as part I've been a few times with my pinhole cameras before it's an area that I really love um, but the weather today is absolutely awful wind rain uh, but the last few weeks have been worse so get past this. I kind of felt I just needed to take the opportunity to get out oh, like I said I've been itching to get out of the last few weeks and just not had the time um, so pull up and have a little chat in a bit So the seagulls out there seem to be quite happy. Uh, the rain has, I think, just about stopped. Um, so I'm, hope oh, excuse me. I'm hoping it holds off. Um, so quick update where I've been, what I've been doing uh, in the last couple of months. I kind of started to itch to get back out with my camera. I redone my website that had kind of crashed and gone. Um, I've been concentrating more though on my blog posts, my blog post uh, willgudgeon.com from there it kind of links back out to my pinholelife.com website which is where all my pinhole photography is uh, if you want to sit there and browse that there is a promo code on that at the moment so if you want to treat yourself to anything and help support me love it that website is managed through fine art america or pixels.com if you're outside the u.s so uh, they use printing companies around the world so delivery anywhere is pretty simple plus you get like a 30 day money back guarantee if you're not happy with the work so that's uh, peace of mind for anyone who's purchasing um, <clears throat> that's kind of about it really I'm looking at getting another digital camera at some point I did um, start my Fuji XT <laughs> start, my, start my Fuji XT one up the other day I had to have some pliers on, on the power knobble because it was so corroded with salt water power button doesn't even work because it's so corroded so i'm looking at potentially getting another little digital camera and getting back out of that at some point uh itching to get back out of my mimir rb67 as well i was almost going to sell that a few months back um when it gets to that stage i know things are quite bad if i want to sell that camera i uh, know things <laughs> think things things are things are pretty bad but uh, really itching to get back out of that um yeah but today pinhole photography uh this area is brilliant for it love it here been a few times like i've said uh it has i think like the largest beach launched fishing boats in europe or something all the boats come up on the beaches in the harbor um uh, yeah good weather for it should be fun uh we'll see what we can capture up i think my film holders are loaded with Foam and Pan 100. They have been loaded for over a year. Uh, loaded up and dumped in a bag and chucked under the bed. So I'm hoping that's all fine. We'll find out. Um, I've also got my Holger with a roll of Foam and Pan 100. I'll probably be shooting it at 400 uh, because I think today with the weather, the exposures will maybe be dragging out a bit too much. Uh, but we'll see but I might do it at 400 and stand developed it stand develop it but yeah we'll see how we get on let's um go brave the weather so we can capture
Right, so I've got my first shot set up. I think I've, I'm sure I've photographed this boat before from a similar angle. Um, trying to capture the, whatever that thing is called down there and looking up. But I'm hoping to also get some of the boats on the side as well. Uh, but I've got about a minute exposure on this, so let's uh, get comfy. So we've had lots of storms recently and there are so many dogfish washed up on the beach here. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, no, no, stacks all over the place. Yeah, I presume they're being washed up in the weather. <coughs> um, makes a fair opportunity anyway. Don't know if it's a dead fish. Here we go. On the uh, subject of dead things washing up during a storm, uh, many years back uh, I came down to a, another beach some photos in the morning and unfortunately came across a, a woman who had been washed up they'd been out at sea for about a week or something uh, drowned obviously uh, so yeah, not a nice thing to see always makes me a little bit on edge when I come down to the beach after a, a little bit of bad weather but um, a couple of dogfish not too bad One of my favourite images I have is actually of this boat, so I'm going to try another shot of it. I'm trying to keep out of the wind. Got a bit more of a, a side profile. Um, so my my mirror four by five is quite wide, 35 mil. I was all the way back there a minute ago and realised, so I've come a bit closer. So hopefully, should get a relatively nice shot. I'm just going to stick with another minute. Exposure. The rain's back. So I'm not sure how this one's going to work. The uh, mirror I have might be a bit wide for it. Excuse me. But I'll show you what I'm after. All that movement there. That fishing boat directly centre. Uh, about 30 second exposure. So. Give this a well.
Lord will load it up with my mirror. Um, so that's for I'll get another two, and that's a tank fill for developing. So I'll try to keep it at the rain for a minute. Uh, so try and find a couple more. I think the weather's getting worse. Uh, whether I'll get the whole grout yet, I don't know. But I'll uh, see if we can find a couple more. Hope I don't get too wet. Right, I'm hoping to get a shot of this uh, digger, boat pusher. They used to push the boats out basically. I've got a bit of a side profile on that. I'm hoping with the mirror being quite wide, it should capture all of it in from that distance. Um, Quickly get a meter reading and uh, see what we got. So it's coming up with about a two minute exposure, so. Gonna hide out the rain and wind for a minute and leave it to it. I've just been wandering up and down trying to find the last photo but I'm going to use this here quite like that uh, so I'm going to set up see what we've got soaked Second exposure in this one. That's it. I'm done. This is bad. <laughs> I'll put it in. Always keep my dark slides wrapped up. Keep them dry. Right. What have I got? Five. Right, back in the safety of the van. I hope you enjoyed that as much as me. I, that was refreshing, it was nice, it was nice to be uh, be back out again, really it was. Um, I do love this sort of weather. For pinhole photography, partic pinhole photography particularly, I do like the bad weather. Um, but hopefully the photos have come out well. I'll uh, share them throughout the video. I would have shared them throughout the video. So you would have seen them. I'll also uh, do up a little blog post on this shoot as well. So you can go check that out. See all the photos again. I'll link it back to some past photos from here as well. So you can see a little series building up. But yeah. Thank you guys for joining me again. Uh, thank you to everyone who's been commenting on my videos over the last year. I did sort of start looking back at some of them. 
uh, and I will reply to as many as I can um, and for the other people who have actually kind of messaged to see how things are I really really do appreciate it um, and seriously I thank you guys for it so I really hope you enjoy the video please thank you for sticking around and hopefully there will be plenty more to come soon thanks guys see you soon take care god bless